I first heard about Vision Beyond Borders when uh, I was volunteering with another ministry and my uh, daughter, uh, my oldest daughter, was listening to a podcast from them and it featured Patrick Klein and, and uh, we thought, well, this is interesting what we, what we heard about it. And uh, so we decided we'd come up here and volunteer. And uh, so we spent a week volunteering here and, and uh, Pat liked what he saw from us and, and uh, he offered me the uh, operations manager position at the end of the week. Well, as the as the operations manager, I'm I'm basically uh, second in command uh, under Pat, just uh, helping manage everything day to day and keep everything sm flowing smoothly. Um, I help uh, uh, field all the uh, incoming inquiries from the field and uh, help uh, identify what we can do to help our partner ministries around the world. And uh, I would work with the the uh, refugee program to uh, get con containers shipped out to people and uh, just uh, do whatever I can to, to move the ministry forward. Well, the, the vision of Vision Beyond Borders really is to get uh, God's Word out to people around the world, especially to people that don't have easy access to the Bible. It's so easy for us to go online or go into a bookstore and, and order God's Word, but for, for millions of people around the world, they have no access or they have literally no money, you know, not a, not a spare dollar to their name. To, you know, to buy their own copy of the Bible. So we're trying to give people Bibles that otherwise they wouldn't have any opportunity to do so. Well, um, we send uh, ministry teams into a number of countries around the world, uh, typical, typically ones that aren't very uh, open to uh, Christian evangelism, but uh, we send teams in of, of volunteers anyway that uh, do a great job of uh, taking in God's Word, taking in Bible tracts, MP3 players, and uh, they'll talk to villagers, they'll, they'll give uh, these things to people and uh, just plant seeds that uh, you know, hopefully lead to, to churches developing wherever they go. Well, in addition to, to bringing God's Word, we, we help uh, uh, support pastors in a number of different countries and we uh, support their discipleship efforts to raise up uh, elders and leaders within their ministry to extend their ministry so that they can uh, continue to grow and continue to, to branch out and uh, provide them with resources that they need to, uh, you know, to develop a full-fledged church and have you know, Sunday school and, and other materials uh, that they can use for their ministry. Well, there's a lot of ways to get involved. Um, people can obviously volunteer to go on a trip with us, and, uh, and that's a great opportunity for some people. Uh, others may gather clothing and bring in clothing or supplies. Uh, obviously, there's uh, financial support that's needed for a lot of these programs. And then uh, just uh, making gospel bracelets, that's something that people can do, or uh, cutting flannel graphs uh, as well, and that's a great blessing for ministries that uh, teach children. We uh, send out a weekly newsletter that uh, we always ask for prayer for, for different uh, uh, needs in the ministry, uh, from prayer partners that send us reports of uh, uh, things that are needed out in the field, and so we, we have uh, thousands of people that are praying for us and, you know, and uh, praying for the, the partners that we have. And so we're, we're greatly blessed to have that and, and would be glad to have more people join in. Well, our, our financial support uh, is something that, uh, you know, obviously we need that to uh, fulfill our, our ministry programs. And so we're, we're really blessed to have uh, strong support from people that value the ministry and value everything that it does. Um, and uh, we, we know that when we put out a need there that uh, that people understand that we're, we're serious about it and that it's, it's for real. I mean, it's something that we've checked out and that it's, it's a real need. And uh, so we're, you know, it's always gratifying to see people come through and, and fulfill those needs. Uh, I'm here because I, I really, uh, it's, I think it's the best thing that I could be doing to, to help serve in, in, you know, in a ministry role. Uh, my background is as a quality engineer in the automotive field, so I don't have a, a ministry background or a theolo theological background, but a lot of those skills transfer to my role as an operations manager and so it's just great to be doing something for the Lord and uh, so I, I just find it really really rewarding. Just that uh, you know we're grateful for all the the support that we have from people and for the the prayers that uh, people lift up for us and we're, we're looking forward to being able to, to continue serving the the church around the world and, and uh, helping fill needs wherever we can find to fill them. Yeah.